Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to take a look at hurricanes. Hurricanes, also called tropical cyclones, are amazing powerful storms that can bring destruction and misery to an area hit by the hurricane. The Congressional Budget Office estimates that 1.2 million Americans live in coastal areas at risk of substantial damage from hurricanes. In this video, I will look at the causes of these tremendous storms. In the northern hemisphere, most hurricanes will begin to form around the equator off the coast of West Africa. The official hurricane season is between June 1st and November 30th. Why do hurricanes occur during this time period? The reason is that hurricanes need the ocean surface temperature to be at least 79 degrees Fahrenheit. In addition, you need high pressure above the hurricane and low wind shear. Between June and November, both of these condi conditions are met often. Hurricanes are like giant engines that use warm, moist air as fuel. That is why they form over warm ocean waters near the equator. The warm, moist air over the ocean rises upward from the surface. As the warm air rises, a low pressure system is created. Air from surrounding areas with high air pressure push into the low pressure area. Then this new air becomes warm and moist and rises also. As the warmed moist air rises and cools off, the water in the air forms clouds. This whole system of clouds and wind spins and grows, fed by the ocean's heat and water evaporating from the surface. Trade winds then will blow across the equator and help push the storm along. The hurricane will rotate in a counterclockwise fashion in the north due to the Coriolis effect. The Coriolis effect is caused by the Earth's rotation and curves air in the northern hemisphere to the right. The hurricane will continue to move across the ocean and pick up strength if the water temperature remains above 79 degrees and high pressure remains above the storm and there is moisture to fuel the storm. Hurricane strength is measured by wind speed and barometric pressure. The minimum wind speed to be classified as a hurricane is 74 miles an hour. And Category 5 hurricanes will have wind speed greater than 157 miles per hour. As a general guideline, September is the peak month for hurricanes because the warm surface temperatures during this month are at its peak. So there we go, a couple reasons why we have hurricanes in the northern hemisphere. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.